Charlie Baker weighed in today saying there should not be a vote tomorrow until the FBI investigates the claims made by Kavanaugh's accusers. That investigation needs to happen before anybody votes on anything. And if people don't vote on it or don't uh, do the investigation, I don't believe um, that he would be fit for the job. Well, today, demonstrators and sexual assault survivors gathered to rally outside the offices of Senator Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren. WBZ's Christina Rex picks up our team coverage tonight from Boston. Thank you. They walked up one by one, sharing their stories of sexual assault. Oh my God, that's what happened to me. I was raped. But it's just the shame of not knowing and not talking about things for. 50 years. 50 to 60 women and a few men gathering in government center to offer support to Dr. Christine Blasey Ford as she testifies on Capitol Hill. Some women sharing their story for the first time. Such was the case for Effie Artema. I think that her example is what compelled me to finally say something. She's been silent for 11 years. Extremely triggering. Um, this, the past week and a half has been. Um, Really hard. Effie and other sexual assault survivors will have a wide range of reactions to the public testimony, according to Sharon Imperato of the Boston Area Rape Crisis Center. To be really honest, what's happening right now is people's worst nightmare. And they're also really worried that people are going to judge them and not believe them. And unfortunately, that's actually what's playing out right now. Effie never reported her rape. But her mother has always kept the option open since the night it happened 11 years ago. She knew something was wrong. She took my clothes out of the hamper and she put them in plastic and she still has them in a box. Investigate! Investigate! The survivors at this event say reading all the news about the allegations against Judge Kavanaugh has been extremely triggering for them and that what they mainly want is a formal investigation for Dr. Ford. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.